finally beat Big Pharma. No senior should have to choose between either filling their prescription or paying their rent. It's about peace of mind. It's about security. President Biden and Vice President Harris were all smiles today as they announced Medicare has negotiated new lower prices for some major prescription drugs. That means saving money on must-have prescriptions without having to change brands or worse yet, go without. Shelley Bortz has local reaction to the new plan. Having to choose between food or medication, that's the reality for many seniors. But this landmark decision could mean they'll finally get both. You don't want to be deciding between food and drugs that are going to keep you alive. In a landmark drug price negotiation, the White House says America's senior citizens on Medicare will save about $1.5 billion in out-of-pocket costs the first year, a major step toward driving down the world's highest pharmaceutical bill. I think that's great. I think they all should be lowered. Most of them should be free for senior citizens because they can't afford them. You know what I mean? People on a fixed income, you get don't get a lot of Social Security money. They can't afford any of the drugs. Among the 10 drugs facing the steepest price cuts is Merck's diabetes medication, Genuvia, which will be reduced by 79% in 2026. Bristol-Myers Squibb's blood thinner, Eliquis, which accounted for the highest Medicare spending, will face a 56% reduction. And the most expensive drug on the list, Johnson & Johnson's blood cancer drug, Imbruvica, will be discounted by 38%. We'll have the full list on our website website kdka.com. I think it's a small step. Uh, I think we, we need to go much further in this industry. Things that are costs are just out of control. If a drug maker refuses to negotiate, they face a tax penalty, which could be lifted if they choose to withdraw their drug from the Medicare program. So according to Wilson, those companies couldn't afford not to participate. In a statement, the AARP says, in part, as the voice for 100 million Americans ages 50 plus, we will continue working to ensure this law is fully implemented and benefits older Americans for decades to come. I would love to be here as long as I can, uh, but I would love to afford to be here. In 2027, 15 more drugs will be unveiled. Then in 2028, 15 more, and then another 20 in 2029. Reporting in Lawrenceville, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News.